All right, guys, I think we just do number seven and eight together. All right. Number seven said, if the highest common factor of two numbers is eight, which of the following three choices could be those numbers? So what we have to do is to examine the numbers and see which one of them, the highest common factor is eight. All right, so we know, let's look at eight, A. What is your choice? Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? You guys choose, all right? So it says now 18 and 32. Well, for one, eight cannot go into 18, so we can eliminate this. All right, let's look at B. It said three choices, but it's actually um four choices. Right, that's one error. It could be this. It can go into 32 and it can go into 40. All right, let's look at 104. What we need to do is see if it can go into 104. And if it can go into 72. So it can go into this 13 times. So it could be this. It can go into 16. And it can go into 56. So the only one that is not an option or could not be is number is A, letter A. And let's look at number eight. It says that Kyle has $45,000 to spend on tiling his living room, which is five meter by nine meter. Kyle chooses to buy some 45 centimeter by 45 centimeters tile. How many tiles does Kyle need to buy in order to tile the room? Taking consideration, you need to buy at least three extra tiles in case any break. So the first thing, notice the difference in measurement, right? So it's a five meter by nine meter. To make it easier for you guys, what I'm gonna be doing is to converting the meter to centimeter, all right? That's much easier for you guys. So let's go. Now, you have to know how many centimeters make one meter, and that is a hundred. So a hundred centimeters, let me just put that here. 100 centimeter equal one meter. So therefore, Five meter would be 500 centimeter times 900. So there we go, it's a really big number. You can just put back these two zero plus two, so that's four zeros. And nine five forty five. All right, so. What we can do now, this is a bit tough though. What we can do is to, the tile would be 45 by 45. So what we can do is calculate the area of this. But this is the area of the room, right? So what we can do is calculate the area, and this is in centimeter. Remember this is centimeter square now, right? So what we need to do now is to say 45 by 45. I don't know why this just, you know, if young kids with this in it. It's a bit tough to do a calculator. 5, 5, 25, 25. Okay, guys, let me just go down. All right, so 5, 5, 25, 5, 4, 20, and that's 22. 
2. So we'll put a 0 to all the space. So 4, 5, 20 again. So 2 there, 4, 4, 16, and 2, 18. So this will be 5, 2, 8, and 2, 10. Z carry 1 plus 2,000. So what we have to do now is divide 45,000 by 2,025. These are really tough question without calculator for the students. All right, so basically I use my calculator and I got 22. However, they say that they must have three extra time, right? So they add three to it. So we must buy at least 25 tiles. This is a really tough one, guys, without calculator. Can be done without calculator, but I prefer to use the calculator because I don't have so much time. All right. So that was a really tough one. I hope you guys got the principle, right? So you convert to both units. That's the most important part of it. Of the convert um, centimeter, the meter to centimeter, since as they give you the tile in centimeter. All right, this is Mr. Bennett. I'm out, no doubt. The next question coming up. See you guys in the next video.